All right, awesome. Well, welcome everyone to this demo of uh, Drag and Drop Illustrator. And I, I want to say up front, I, um, I am very conservative when it comes to promoting other people's products and even more conservative when it comes to uh, promoting software just because it's not always the case that it actually delivers on what it says that it's going to. And uh, so I'm very passionate about illustration, especially creating illustrations for children's books. And so whenever uh, James mentioned that he was working on this software, I was like, OK, you know, whatever. And so he sent me a copy of it and I installed it. And within a matter of minutes, I thought, holy cow. I mean, even in its early version, I've only been messing around with it for a week or so. Uh, but immediately I sent him a list. Well, what about this? And are you going to add that? And so on and so forth. And since then, I've sent him a couple lists of uh, <laughs> requests and all that kind of stuff. And um, so marketing hype aside and BS aside, which I wouldn't give you anyway, um, this software is the real deal. I, it's, it's really pretty amazing. And I told uh, James early on, I said, I'm using this software really hard and it's my goal to break it. And that's the truth. I set out to really break this software. And uh, the good news is that I haven't yet, but he basically said, bring it on. My programmer loves that kind of stuff. And uh, <laughs> so I did my level best. And if, if I wanted it to do something that it wouldn't do, I tried to figure out a way to make it do it anyway. And so some of what you're going to see today is uh, the results of my experimenting. And uh, I've made some pretty cool discoveries. That's what we're going to be covering. Uh, and specifically, I'm going to talk about uh, creating illustrations the old fashioned way, which, of course, a lot of people still do that and uh, the power of drag and drop. And uh, most of our time together today is actually gonna be spent demoing the software, but there's a couple things that I wanna say um, before we dig into that. And of course, we're gonna talk about the software and uh, give some demos and special illustration content and a lot more. So uh, one of the things that I've encountered is that illustrating books is a huge challenge. Actually, really, if you get right down to it, creating any kind of graphic can be a huge challenge for a lot of folks because you may not feel like you're very design savvy or you don't know anything about actually creating illustrations. And the truth is that unless you're an artist creating illustrations and designs, it can be challenging not only challenging, but also extremely expensive. And uh, what I found is that it's actually probably the number one deal breaker that stops people dead in their tracks is being able to create any kind of quality graphics, whether it's header graphics or memes or whatever. I mean, sure, there's software now, uh, mobile apps that make creating memes a lot easier, and, and that's cool. But when it comes to creating illustrations for Kindle books, let's say, um, that's a completely different conversation and there really hasn't been any um, software solutions that I felt, you know, A, was inexpensive enough to put in most people's reach, B, that didn't have like some ridiculous crazy learning curve, uh, and C, you know, just to make it work and do what you want is intimidating and I probably own all of them. so. You know, I say that with a certain level of confidence. And so the, you know as well as I do that if you want to create children's books or any other kind of graphic, you really have to have quality. You know, you want great illustrations. I mean, think about it. You have this amazing story that you want to get out to the masses and, and touch a generation or whatever. And then you throw up these wacky looking stupid illustrations. Um, and so, as most of you know, many of you know, I've actually devoted a lot of time to solving the illustration problem, and I've had some success. And if you've been a part of Expert or Easy Book Illustrations, which I've been teaching over the course of the last year and a half, uh, you've been the beneficiary of a lot of that success. However, 
This whole concept of dragging, drag and drop really changes the game a lot in my mind. And the reason why is because when it comes down to traditional illustration methods and even some digital illustration methods, if you change your mind about an illustration, it means starting over. So let's say you have this kid's book and you want a house in it and you want a swing and a tree and some mountains in the background and whatever. And the illustrator does it and it's okay but it just doesn't quite capture what you had in mind. And as a matter of fact, the more you look at it, the more you realize that you want the house on the left and not the right, and maybe a different kind of tree because they put in a pine tree and you really were envisioning an apple tree and all of that. So try going to the illustrator and, and make all those suggested changes. Two things are gonna happen. One, they're gonna get upset with you. Two, you're about to spend a lot more money. Okay, and that's a fact. All right, because it's really difficult to make changes once that illustration process has started. Even if that illustration is being done in Illustrator or Photoshop, in many cases, making those changes can be challenging. And it gets, like I said, crazy expensive and it tends to upset the artist. Now, what if there was a way to easily and quickly change your illustrations by adding, moving, or deleting any assets. I mean, wouldn't that be cool? And by asset, I mean any object that's on the screen from the walls, the sky, to your characters and the tree, the house that we were talking about, all that kind of stuff. What if you could easily move those around and change them? I mean, wouldn't that be cool? And that is the power of drag and drop. That's why I'm so excited about this software, okay? Because with drag and drop illustrator that is exactly what james accomplished uh, with his programmers to develop this software is that you can literally move stuff around uh, so i have some examples of some of the stuff that i've created and i'll explain uh throughout this process uh, what i did and then we're actually going to dive into the software so um on the left, I had created this graphic and I wanted to go with a, like a farm theme or something. And I was playing around with the type. It was the first time I used the type and I wanted to see how it all worked and everything. And then after I did this, you know, I knew that I had that comment in the slides about being able to change your mind. And so I literally timed myself to see how long it would take me to rework this entire illustration into something completely different. You notice that the house is flipped and the cow is resized and flipped. And, you know, I introduced the uh, little cliff here and the for sale sign, got rid of the type. How long it would take me to create a new quote unquote illustration off of the original one that I did. And it, it took me less than 10 minutes. It was a, about six minutes or something like that, which is pretty amazing whenever you think about if you had a traditional illustrator create the illustration on the left, it would take them days to recreate this on the right. Um, not to mention the fact that they would be cursing your name as a mantra for the next month. Okay, so that's just kind of what's cool. Now, uh, the characters uh, that you see here, the, the bird and the goat and the little dog here and the cow and everything, those are all part of the basic software package. Uh, it actually comes with 22, um, 22 sets of illustrations that you automatically have access to with the software, including animals and and uh, buildings and all kinds of stuff. And I'll show you some of those here in a little bit. 